In this video, we're gonna teach you the fundamentals of how to start jumping rope. What's going on? I'm Brandon Epstein. We are the Jump Rope Dudes, and as always, we help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. So in today's video, we're just gonna take you step-by-step step through the fundamentals of how to jump rope with perfect jump rope form, starting with, of course, the jump rope regular bounce. So to get started, I just wanna show you what it looks like to have the finished product of perfect jump rope form from your feet all the way up through your head. So you're gonna start by bouncing up and down between your toes and the balls of your feet. Your knees are gonna be slightly bent. Your wrists will be spinning the rope in parallel to the ground. Your hands are gonna be facing forward at or below your waist. Your hands are jutting out to the side with elbows close to your body. Create symmetry between the right and left side of your body. If you can cut yourself down the middle, you should look the same on both sides. Your shoulder blades should be down and back and together. You should maintain an upright posture, reaching your head towards the sky. And finally, keep your eyes facing forward and chin down. Okay, so now we're gonna break this down one chunk at a time. Step one is just starting to find your rhythm without your jump rope. So we like to do this by just counting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this rhythm here is just gonna help you get up on the balls of your feet, between your balls and your feet and your toes, and just find that rhythm of jumping without the rope. Step two, keep jumping without a rope and incorporate slow and deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, your stomach should be rising. As you breathe out, your stomach should fall. Step three, you need to make sure your jump rope is sized appropriately for your height. If you get a cross rope, for example, you can just go to their size chart and just refer to that and look up your height to see what jump rope size you should get. Now, if you have a different jump rope, you're gonna have to measure it this way. Step into the middle of your rope and you're gonna want the end of your rope or the beginning of your handle up around your armpit or mid chest level. Once your rope is sized appropriately, we can move on to step four. So start with the jump rope regular bounce. So again, you're gonna be bouncing up and down between your toes and the balls of your feet. Again, keeping those knees slightly bent. Your wrists are gonna be spinning the rope in parallel to the ground. Your hands are facing forward at or below your waist or hip level. You're gonna want your hands jutting out to the sides with elbows close to the body. And again, create that perfect symmetry between your right and left side of your body. So if you were to cut yourself right down the middle, you should look the same on both sides. And again, we're really working on that posture by bringing our shoulder blades back and together and maintain that upright posture, reaching your head towards the sky. And finally, eyes facing forward and chin down. So refer to this as many times as you need to to try to find your correct jump rope form. Again, it's, there's a lot of steps to the correct form and you're gonna bring it all together over time by practicing. Now we want you to avoid these top beginner jump rope mistakes because we find that a lot of beginners tend to do the same things. So we're just gonna shout these out to make sure you don't do these. So the first thing that's gonna make you trip is bring your elbows too wide or your arms away from your body. Because of course, the farther your jump rope handles are from your body, less slack you have and the easier it is to trip over your rope. Same thing goes for having uneven hands. You don't want one hand up super high, the other one super low. You want them both at the same level. You also don't wanna overuse your arms. You don't need big, wide arm movements. You wanna keep them pretty stable. You also don't wanna be jumping too high in the air. So don't kick your legs back and also don't kick them forward like a dolphin. These things are not great for jump rope form and they're also gonna increase your risk for injury. Another common thing we see is people doing the double jump. The reason we don't want you to do this double jump like you can see pictured here is because it won't allow you to get intense with your workouts. As long as you're doing the double jump, you're gonna be jumping rope super slow and you won't be able to bring the appropriate intensity to your workout to get the results you want. Finally, don't get frustrated. Understand that jumping rope is a skill and like any skill, you're gonna need to practice to get better at this skill. So have fun with it, incorporate your favorite music and just understand that this is a process. The more you practice, the better you're gonna get. Step six, we recommend starting with a slightly weighted rope. As you can see here, we're using the one pound cross rope and a rope like this provides you a lot of feedback so you can learn quicker because you feel the rope coming around every time you spin it. So if you wanna check this out, feel free to go to crossrope.com forward slash GRD and you can get this jump rope or any of the ones we're using in this video for 10% off with the code DOTHETHING. 
Step seven, make sure you're warming up properly before you start jumping rope. This is gonna help reduce your risk of injury and also just help you warm up your muscles before you get into jump rope. So you're gonna feel more fluid once you actually start practicing. We're gonna start by warming up your shoulders. So you can just follow along with this warm up and do it anytime. So you're gonna do 10 rotations forward with your shoulders, and then we're gonna be going backwards for 10 reps with your shoulders, kind of speeding through this a little bit. So make sure you get your full reps. Then you're gonna be pressing your hands towards each other for 10 reps. And then you're gonna be pressing your hands away from each other for 10 reps. And then we're gonna go into a little wrist and warm up routine where you're just gonna be aligning your shoulders over your wrists and you're gonna be leaning forward and back, forward and back. So you can get 10 reps forward and back total. And then you can face your hands, your fingers towards your body and you're gonna sit back on your heels. You can just kind of sit here for around 30 seconds or so and that's gonna help uh, open up your forearms and stretch them out a little bit before you get started. Next up, you're just gonna sit back on your toes here. So you're gonna sit on your heels and have your toes flexed on the ground. It's gonna help stretch out your feet before you get started. A lot of people, when they get started jumping rope, they have a lot of foot soreness. This is gonna help as long as you do these stretches every time. It will help you reduce the risk of soreness in your feet and it's gonna help you jump rope without having to take a lot of days off. And then we recommend also doing these heel walks as you can see pictured here. So the heel walks are really good for helping you prevent shin splints. Next, we're gonna get into some more dynamic movements. After you finish the heel walks, which I do recommend doing, you know, maybe 30 seconds or so going back and forth heel walks, get into some jumping jacks. You can do about 30 seconds of jumping jacks is plenty. And then get into some air squats. So air squats here, as you can see, you want your knees jutting out to the side. Keep that chest up and you can get around 15, 20 reps of air squats, around 30 seconds of air squats is fine. And then finally, before we actually pick up our jump rope, you can do basically the boxer skip without a jump rope, which is just finding your rhythm, kind of hopping back and forth on the balls of your feet, putting weight on one foot and then the other back and forth. You can do this for 30 seconds to a minute so you can find that rhythm before you actually get into your jump rope routine. So this is day number one of the Jump Rope Dudes seven day beginner jump rope challenge. If you wanna get the rest of the challenge, you can go over to jumpropedudes.tv and sign up for Jump Rope Dudes TV and you'll get access to this. It's available on your TV, your iPhone, your Android, your tablet, basically on most devices, you'll be able to watch this and follow along with us and do the rest of the challenge. So thank you so much for watching. We are the Jump Rope Dudes. I'm Brandon Epstein, as always, do the thing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have additional questions or comments, drop them below.